Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Well, good morning, everybody. Looks like we're starting off very comfortably again. A lot of us are going to be someplace close to 50 this morning. A few spots will dip into the 40s. I think everybody gets back up over 80 this afternoon. We got to like 82, 83 in a lot of spots yesterday. We'll probably be someplace close again today, maybe just a smidge warmer. Now, I think the next few nights we're going to notice the temperatures up just a little tiny bit as we get a little different wind direction. We get a little bit more moisture coming our way. Not going to feel like the middle of summer anymore, but I think when we start to increase that moisture, especially in the overnight, that means the overnight temperatures don't fall as far as they do on those really dry nights like we've been having for the past several. Now, this is the satellite radar composite screen. There's not a whole lot going on here or anywhere with that big dome of high pressure. Still the big weather player, and it will continue to be for several more days. It's 48 this morning in Thomasville. It's 52 in Tallahassee. And check out Valdosta up to 57 with a little breeze out of the north and northeast. So far, we're still watching all those dew point numbers back in the 40s. That tells me these air temperatures can dip a little bit more as those winds calm down, so we'll be looking for that over the next two, three hours, and then we'll start to expect things to perk up in a hurry. We'll say it a few more times that a sensor at Camilla is not not accurate. It's not 18 degrees there, but it is 52 in Bainbridge. It is 50 in Quincy. It is 56 in Perry and Apalachicola is checking in at 60. So some of our coastal areas, and I think we're going to see more of that spreading a little bit more inland over the next couple of nights are going to start creeping up back near 60, which is not uncommon for this time of the year. I think the story today will be a little less breeze, more from the northeast, trying to turn a little bit more towards the east. And you know what? Over the next couple of mornings, as we do start to ratchet up a little bit of that moisture, we can find a little patchy fog. Places like Live Oak, down at one half mile visibility, and I think we'll start to find a little bit more, especially over towards the I-75 corridor. It's still the same story. That big bubble of high pressure is the big weather player. The eastern two-thirds of the country under its influence. We go up to the middle and upper part of the atmosphere. We see all these orange colors. That's the dry air up there, too. And that's where all this bright blue skies and sunshine comes from. Now, we stay high and dry for most of the week. I think we're going to find a little bit more higher pressure reasserting itself near the Gulf and Gulf Coast as we get towards, like, Wednesday, Thursday. So not a lot of change coming. Nothing that would bring any rain chances coming this way. And I think our story is going to be the same, probably each of the next few days, just starting to get maybe a little bit warmer in the afternoons a bit in the evenings and overnights. That'll be a little bit more noticeable. Now the tropics still active enough. I mean, there's not a lot going on. I see maybe an area of disturbed weather out across the middle of the Atlantic. And of course, the one named system still off the east part of Cuba. That's tropical storm Oscar. The five o'clock info, it's got it just a little bit weaker still down to 50 mile per hour sustained winds. It's kind of lingering over parts of Cuba where it should continue to get weaker. It is expected to get pulled off to the north and east where it will eventually fizzle out. So nowhere near the United States. We'll keep our eyes on at the southern Bahamas. Definitely watching this intently. This is the only organized system in the tropics and hopefully once this one fizzles, everything takes that big step back. Usually we start getting to the end of October, beginning of November and things start to get real few and far between. Sunny and breezy on the Gulf close to home. Winds out of the northeast 10 to 20, seas 2 to 4 feet. We'll put a moderate chop in the protected waters. It is 40s and 50s, bright and comfortable this morning. Some areas near the coast may be just a little bit warmer, and I do think the next few mornings we're going to notice slightly warmer starts. Mid 80s, sunny, warm, another really, really nice October day. And then tonight we'll go with upper 50s, mostly clear skies. Sunset time, by the way, 659. We're getting close to that first Sunday in November when we turn those clocks back. And don't forget, I'll, I'll remind you many, many times between now and then. The seven day forecast, it's all about the sunshine. I think a lot of mid 80s this week and probably a lot of upper 50s to near 60 for morning lows, which is still awfully nice.